Hello, so for this tutorial, we're going to uh, cover how to add a steam pipe into a level and create a quick steam particle. That looks pretty cool coming out of the top of it. So the first thing we need to do is prepare a texture for our particle billboard. So we're going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to create a new 512 by 512. I'm going to go ahead and fill this guy. And I'm going to render some clouds. That is not the right color. I'm going to do that again. And uh, sharpen that up a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my lasso tool and I'm just going to lasso a chunk out of here. And uh, invert, delete. Create me a new layer here underneath this. I'm going to fill this with black. Then I'm going to take my uh, eraser brush and I'm just going to erase a little bit of the edges off of this uh, smoke that I've created. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this layer a couple times, move it around here, maybe clean this up a little bit more, some weird stuff going on, I'm just kind of duplicating this uh, over and over just to get this kind of whiffy looking smoke effect. And of course, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I've sort of got this guy here. I'm going to try and put him a little bit in the center. All right, so it doesn't look too bad. Make it a little bit bigger, maybe 5% bigger. OK, so I've got this uh, little foggy guy here. We're just going to have that guy on a black background. So I'm going to save this as Steam Test. I'm going to save it as a PNG file. Just throw it on my desktop. Make sure I save that on my desktop. I did good. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Stingray. And I've got this effects folder I've created that is empty. So I want to go to my desktop here. I'm gonna grab this uh, Steam Test material. I'm gonna drag it in here. Then I'm going to right click and create particle. I'm going to call this steam test. As you can see, it creates this little dummy material for me, and I have my steam test material here. So I'm going to come over here to the right side under the particle editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is change this name to steam test. Then I'm going to come over here to my billboard, and I'm going to drag my billboard in as my diffuse map. So my particle life, I'm going to let this last maybe five seconds. I uh, don't need an offset. Um, my emitter rate will probably do something like 2 to 50 and have these fade out as they go. Um, we're going to send this to using the additive blend so that it takes the white from the black. Our initial size, we're going to make this maybe 0.25 and have it be 2, maybe 1.5 at the time, and it's going to fade out over its life. As you can see here, we're going to go back to the particle effect top here. Camera distance is now at 10 meters, so I'm going to set this to 1 so I can see my effect a little bit closer, maybe 2 meters away. Uh, the color is fine for now. If you want, you can change the color of your steam or do an effect however you would like there. Make my size back to one here, just a little bit smaller. 
So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add a velocity cone. And Z1 up is good because we want our smoke to go up. You can see it's sort of puffing up there. Uh, the theta is the angle of the cone, so let's lower that down to 5. And let's change this velocity to maybe 0.5. So we got a little bit of smoky steam there coming out. <clears throat> I'm also going to add a uh, rotational value to this, so do a rotation random. I'm going to do minus 360 and 360, and this will spin my guys around the way that I would like them to spin. Add some more particles in here, see if it looks a little thicker. And for right now, I'm going to save this. Let's go into our level. I'm going to go into my content and models, floor, I'm going to throw a floor out here and I have this uh, smoke steam pipe that I made in Max here a few minutes ago real quick, set this guy to the center and I'm just going to make the uh, background black here so I'm going to go to entities, my midday shading entity I'm going to change the sky dome map to a black texture. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my steam test. I'm gonna drag it into the scene. I'm gonna set my 000, zero value, drag it up to the top of my steam stack here. So I want to turn off my gizmos here, edit gizmos, so I can see this a little bit better. So it's not too bad, but it could definitely use some tweaking. So the first thing we want to do is uh, come back in here and let's tweak this velocity cone. I think that max is a little too big, so we're going to change this to 2. I should make that a little bit smaller and maybe make our velocity a little bit faster as well. And this will update in the scene here as you change it there. So we go to the emitter rate. Let's add some more particles. Can update this. So now it's looking worse, I think. So we'll we'll just keep tweaking with it until we get the get the desired effect that we would like. want these to fade out a little bit more slowly. So we want to make sure that our uh, our total particles here match with the amount that we want to put in. I think we went to 200 on the emitter rate there, 10 to 200. So we'll put that at 200, and uh, we save this. You see our our fog is now much more thick and coming up there. So we can go back to this velocity cone, and uh, we can adjust this this theta again, maybe to one. And maybe we can slow down our speed back down again to 0.45. Seems like maybe a lot of particles going on in there, so we can lower this emitter rate down to 100. It's not looking too horribly bad. Change our depth fade difference distance to uh, 0.65. I'm gonna add that little fade out a little bit better there. Change our size so it fits our cone a little bit more. Feel like it's living too long, so let's change this particle life down to maybe five seconds. So 
So we've got our billboard material, and that's an additive blend that we made in Photoshop. And uh, we've got our size particle over life. You can have it get bigger as it goes if we like. Uh, the color, of course, is white. You can change this, or you could add a, another color here, and you could maybe maybe make it darker. If that's what you wanted. You can do darker at the beginning. Have it fade in and out like that over time. We have our velocity cone. You can open up that theta again so that the cone gets bigger. Our steam will filter out a little bit more appropriately up into the sky and disappear. And our max velocity is 45. We can slow that down just a little bit more. And go back to our shading environment here. I'm going to go ahead and add the sky dome back in there now that I was just using that to test. And as you can see, we've got a little smokestack here and a Decent, real quick little fog that disappears up into the sky, appropriately based on our settings. So that's just a really quick, uh, really quick way to throw some steam into your scene. And hopefully, that also educates you a little bit more on how to uh, correctly set up an additive blend there for a billboard in your material system.